Hi, my name is Casey. My name is Giuseppe. My name is Nikki, and I've been an outreach worker with UFO for eight years. For 10 years. For two years. And this is Street Outreach. This is Outreach. This is Outreach 101. It can be intimidating approaching young adults on the street. Here at UFO, we have a very simple four-step approach. Remember that your interactions on the street will be very short and you don't have to worry about counseling. That happens once your participants are into your program. So, the four-step approach is, first, offer supplies they need or want. Second, start a conversation. Third, invite them to your program. And fourth, give them program materials so they know where you're located and what hours you're open. You'll carry all of your outreach supplies in a bag, and hopefully it's very comfortable because you may be on your feet for hours at a time. I carry an array of sterile syringes in all sizes, ranging from shorts, longs, micros, and musclers. Along with syringes, I carry safer injection supplies. I have cottons, cookers, sterile waters, and alcohol wipes. One of the reasons why we carry all of these supplies is because a third of all new hep C infections among young adults come from sharing equipment, not just syringes. We often find that our participants don't know that. Another thing I offer is snacks. I carry high protein bars to offer participants because it might be the only thing they eat that day. We carry safer sex supplies like condoms and lube. And I carry basic need supplies, like gloves, beanies, and socks. And I also carry hygiene supplies, including shampoo, soap, lotion, and chapstick. The last thing I carry is a local and up-to-date needle exchange schedule. There are some things to keep in mind when on the street doing outreach. Know your surroundings. Be streetwise. Pay attention to what's going on around you. This means don't interrupt drug transactions and don't get in the middle of people's personal business. Always pair up, never go out alone. You will always have another outreach worker with you. Dress casually. Jeans, t-shirts, and sneakers work well. Use your intuition. It's okay not to approach everyone you see on the street. If you don't feel comfortable in a situation, then leave. Let's go over the four-step approach one more time. First, offer supplies. We're doing outreach. We're wondering if you need anything. Uh, what do you guys got? Introduce yourself and let them know what you have to offer. Tell them about the supplies that you're carrying and ask the participant what he or she needs. Second, start a conversation. Talk to the participant about what you do and ask them about themselves. Ask them about their day so far, and if you haven't yet met the participant, ask them how long they've been in town. Third, invite them to your program. Give all of the info that they will need to have about your drop-in space. Tell them where you are located, the dates and times that you are open, and what services you offer. Fourth and lastly, give them any program materials that you have. Make sure that you have a card or flyer to leave them with. Your materials should have the address of your drop-in space, the dates and times that you are open, and a way for them to get a hold of you. It's important to have a stable presence when you do outreach. That means going out at the same time and day each week, rain or shine, and giving participants the impression that they can count on you. It also makes other people on the street more likely to come into your drop-in site and access your services. This has been Street Outreach 101 with UFO Presents. For more information, visit our website at www.ufomodel.org. If you have other questions, contact us at the phone or email listed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, and stay safe.